Ladies and gentlemen, we don't care what he's been, we don't care what he's done. All we know is that we are happy to welcome that man again. <laughs> His 101st appearance finds this sprightly centenarian as full as ever of beans, back chat, and bonhomie, while still remaining. I, 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 I don't know. I ain't seen nobody. I'll get him. Try that one out. Miss me. Hello, Sam. It, it's the boss. Hey. Hey. Gee, gee, boss, it's good to see you. Well, I mustn't be seen, Sam. They're after me. Anyone been in? Sure, boss. There was a man a moment ago... What, a big man with a hammer, toe, a bowler hat and a rear light? <laughs> no, boss. That's him. That's him. Where is he? Where is he? Look out, look out. He's coming back. I'll have to hide. Well, oh. hop in my pocket. Thanks, I will. Stop me! Stop me! Stop me! Has he gone, Sam? Sure, boss. You can come out now. Oh. And not a moment too soon. What do you keep in your pocket, pigeons? <laughs> no. No, boss. Ferrets. What, not Miriam Ferrets from the Pig and Whistle? Uh, why, why was he after you, boss? Well, I paid me income tax twice over. I'll soon be in the money, Sam. I'm getting a big government grant. What for, boss? Welfare. Welfare? Welfare evermore. <laughs> uh, I knew we'd say that. <laughs> well, now, first of all, I got to establish headquarters. You know, a great big place like the BBC, only funnier. <laughs> I got it, boss. Next door, there's an old fun fair. Fun fair? One, two. Fun, fun fair, fair evermore. <laughs> now ring up the agent and tell him we can't have one without the other, will you? Is, uh, is this fun fair in working order? Yeah, boss. But it's the very thing. Now let's go and pinch the fat lady's ration card. This way, boss. Why? Right. Here you are, boss. Meet the caretaker. Percy Pintable. Pintable? Oh, I know him. Every time he shakes hands, a ball drops out of his nose. <laughs> Well, well, bless my soul. <laughs> I was just reading about you, and oh. that would be old in you come. Oh. Well, my name's, uh, my name's Handley. Not me, Mr. Handley. What for was in Kentucky Midschool? <laughs> <laughs> well, is my face black? You're thinking of Jolly Pepper. <laughs> is, uh, is this, uh, is this place to let cobwebs and all? Well, as a matter of fact, I was just going to advertise it, and uh, that would be all the in you come. Oh. <laughs> well, how much do you want for this miniature Corny Island? Well, now, a jet came in yesterday, and uh, that would be all the in a cool town. Did it? Well, uh, let me ring up my lawyer. Hello? Is that lo and behold? I mean, it's... <laughs> is that uh, grey, grey, green and white? Is George Black in? <laughs> is, uh, is that you, Brown? Well, are we interested in a fun fair complete with roll top jets and donkey engine? What's that? Oh, yes. It'll hold a thousand soldiers and all the usual officers. <laughs> right, I'll tell him. Our final offer is slippings down, sixpence a week for 12 weeks and Bob's your uncle. Well, now, I'll just consult my little daughter, Effie. Effie! Dad! It's a Robin's wife with a blouse on. Got the broken in again. <laughs> oh, oh, well, how old are you, my pet? Seventeen and never been out with an American. <laughs> That's the last fairy story for tonight, children. Uh, now, my dear, just show the gentleman round, will you? This is the shooting gallery. Yes. We lost the attendant last week. Really? <laughs> what happened? Did he sit in for a ping pong ball? Yes, and I shot him. <laughs> <laughs> what a sense of humour, eh? <laughs> Take the rose before Bowser England. Where's that man going with those 14 states? He's taking the fasting man his breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> fasting man? What's his name? John Snack? Oh, you are a one. <laughs> I know I am. Oh, dear. We do meet him, don't we, Sam? Now, there's one thing I'll need, and that's protection. 
I got the very man, boss. My brother Butch. Butch? Oh, I know him. Begin the beginning. No. <laughs> no. What is all? No. Gee. No, not a hutch, boss. Butch. Well, who is this hodgepodge, Bush? <laughs> not a hodgepodge, boss. I said bus. Oh, let's take a taxi. <laughs> Hi, catch. No, boss. <laughs> Butch, my brother. Oh. He's a live wire. Educated at Eton and Harvard. He's a city slicker. Oh, I know the kind. Talks the hind wheel off a jeep. I know it. I'll go and fetch him, boss. Right. Hey, Butch. Mr. Handy, will see you okay. Yeah, sure, Sam. Tell me go and chase a couple of dames. Oh, come on, Butch. It's a cinch. Okay. Give us a shot of food. No, Butch. You, you'll get it later. Come on. Here he is, boss. Oh. Uh, meet my brother, Butch. Right glad to have you know me. Mm-hmm. Oh, so you're yeah. Butch, are you? Well, you're the dead spit of a woman I know in this side show. Yeah, sure. Yes, your face is exactly the same, if it wasn't for the beard. But he ain't got one, boss. No, but she has. <laughs> <laughs> have you been over long? Ah, uh, shocks. Oh, he's a varsity man, all right. <laughs> How long? Yeah, shocks. Oh, that's too long. But what wages would you want? Oh, um... Shucks. Mm. Shucks, eh? What's that in English, money? All right, you can start right away. Oh, shucks. Could be. What a shocking man. <laughs> well, I really didn't want to engage him, but he talked me into it. Now, will, you, will you be wanting me, Tommy? Lummy, it's a lost cord with a hat on. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, I lead a band in my uplift campaign. But <laughs> I'm your man. Oh, well, you'll be able to uplift me with the hooks. Some of those uh, brassy airs of yours, you know. Uh, well, I've got a new musical piece. Oh? It's Hal Evans' idea of how you spent your holiday. Oh, not before the band, Charles. Oh, oh. oh that's all right, Tommy. I've rubbed out the, the rorty bit. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, you went to the seaside, I suppose. Yes, and I got a great reception from the local band. The only thing I didn't get was a bed. Ah, well, we'll play you a descriptive piece. Hansley's Seaside Holiday. Oh, Tom sleeps on prom. To the train, Charles. Thank you. 
I found the premises. The next thing I want is a staff, a safe, and a fruit machine. Sure, boss. Outside, there's dozens of applicants. What, South applicants? Tell me. Who sent them? Johannesburg. Well, uh, let them in one by one. And remember, no one I've ever employed before. They know too much about me. I got you, boss. You want to get right away from it, Ma? As far as possible. Now, first, I want a secretary. Male or female, boss? Now, don't be ridiculous. I can't have a man sitting on my knee. I'd look like a ventriloquist. <laughs> Send them in. First, please. Can I do you now, sir? Well, now, uh... Now, where have I, where have I heard that before? You, you know me, sir. I used to do you before you came the, became notorious. Oh, dear. Well, I know your voice, but I can't remember your face. No, sir. I've had it lifted. Oh? What, by a surgeon? No. By another lady. <laughs> well, she ought to put it down again. <laughs> she took me unawares. Oh, did she? Well, did she send them back starch? I mean, sir, she caught me bending. What? The knee or the elbow? Both, sir. Oh. Now, won't you take me on again, sir? Certainly, Mrs. Mop. Tell me, what have you been doing since I pensioned you off last August? I've been a part-time pants presser, sir. <laughs> part-time pants? Sounds like delayed action trunks. Oh, I say, do you remember the day you ran a hot iron over my court bitches? Oh, and they caught fire. Well, uh, <laughs> and I sat in the saucepan and cooked me goose, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Those are the days. Well, Mrs. M, I'll be sending out some concert parties soon. And with a pot of ferns on your head, you'll make a lovely dresser. <laughs> oh... You are kind, Mr. Tom. Oh, shucks. For you, I'd be more than a dresser. I'd be a complete toilet set. <laughs> <laughs> you saw the old soap dish. I brought this for you, sir. Oh, isn't that nice? It's a reunion result, sir. Is it? it? Looks more like a man's chest with a path down the middle. <laughs> Good afternoon. What did you say? Uh, CTFM. Oh, that's better. MTPB. What's that, sir? Mind the pig bucket. <laughs> Next, please. Uh, a gentleman who says you won't know him, boss. Well, what does he want to see me for, then? He says he's a makeup man. Oh, well, he can make up my bed. I'll see him. This way, sir. <laughs> this is champion. Just need a good makeup man. <laughs> They'll need to disguise us, and I know. Aye, they will and all. <laughs> The postscript tonight was by J.P. Priestley. <laughs> what, uh, what salary do you want? What was that? I heard you first time. <laughs> Boy, I'd recognize that backfire anywhere. <laughs> You're Walter Westwhite. Oh, indeed, sir. You have penetrated my vocal camouflage. I admit the soft impeachment, quote the bard. I'm out of soft impeaches, quote the grocer. <laughs> All right, Walter, let's make up and be friends. Now, well, well, if it isn't uh, well, much because he uh, first... Well, uh, well, if it isn't old... Uh, what's his name? Uh, how, how are, are you? you? <laughs> you remember me, don't you? I met you in a show called... Uh, God, you're a bit, uh, I'll forget my own part in a minute. <laughs> yes, sir, uh, well, what show was it again? It, it, it began with an I. I, Walter? I, no, not I, Walter, no. <laughs> No, it's, uh, it's that, uh, it's that, uh, what do you call it again? It's, uh, it's, uh, it's that grand and glorious feeling. No, I haven't had that for a long time. Oh. You, you, uh, you used to play the man who couldn't remember his, uh, his... Oh, yes, yes. Yes, uh, I forgot that. Mm. Didn't you keep, uh, when, uh, 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 Yes, until the police stepped in and, uh, now, uh, uh, what sort of a, uh, uh, do you want job? Well, I'm a sort of a, you know, got a lot of... A lot of oh, I could use those. But, 
Have you, uh, have you been laid up with the... Uh, uh, oh, yes, yeah, several times. Oh. <laughs> yes, uh, I'm better now. Yes, I used to take... Uh, the... I take that? It's... Uh, uh, what's it called? I had it on the end of a spoon this morning. It's... Uh, it's... Uh, I know, oil, oil of... Uh, oil of... Uh, oil of a lassie. Oil of gold. A... <laughs> well, what... Uh, what name shall I put down? What name? Name, yes. Name. Oh, my name. Yes. You put... Uh, 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 I'd forgive me own head if it wasn't screwed on. Well, is it screwed on? Undo your collar and let's have a look. Oh, my God! It is... <laughs> You have been listening to the schoolboy's delight or the head's departure. <laughs> what time is it, Sam? Uh, I'll go round and ask the man who's got your watch. Well, here's the ticket. No, I'll tell you what. I'll ring up Greenwich Observatory. Hello? Is that the uh, Greenwich Observatory? Yes. Yes. Well, I, I want to speak to the Astronomer Royal. Speaking. Well, can you tell the time by the stars? Of course we can. Well, what's the time by Donald Lamour? 11.40. Big pardon? 11.30. See him. time. Sir, wrong time. <laughs> I bet it was Will Hay. I know. I'll dial Tim. G. I. N. At the third stroke, 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 it will be, will be, will be precisely, precisely. Precisely. I'll all right. I'll... I'll try Big Ben. Hello, is that you, Ben? Yes. Can I speak to one of the hands? Yes. Oh, it's a little hand. Oh, it's... Well, what about the second hand? He's on strike. Oh, what a shame. Ben wants a hand, boys. Let's give it to him, eh? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's nice. I'm sorry to trouble you, but what is this program all about? But why ask me? Don't you know? No. It's shameful. It's disgusting. Well, I'll go a step further and say it's a howling disgrace. What is? A baby crying in a corner. <laughs> Poppycock. A coffee pot to you. Now, where were we, Sam? Oh, hello. Mr. Hanley, there is a long-distance call for you from Wales, you know. Oh! <laughs> to me, uh, what part of Wales? What part? Stand by to can get go get up and drop the sandwich in your go, go, go. Speak up, speak up, I can't hear you. Indeed, I said, stand by to can get go get up and drop the sandwich in your go, go, go. Oh! You mean stand by to can get go get up and drop the sandwich in your go, 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 go? You're three minutes all up. <laughs> You've been listening to a new version of French Without Tears entitled Welsh Without Leaks. <laughs> and that reminds me, I've left my tights in Timmy Gongles. <laughs> ah. ah, Mr. Rocky Pokey. I am prolific. Prolific? <laughs> but another couple and you'll have a football team. But why did you not send for me? To you, I am inflammable. <laughs> oh, burn it up. You mean invaluable. Uh, do you know anything about publicity? Oh, yes. For years there was a publicity. What you call a licensed fiddler. Blush. <laughs> <laughs> You've got something there. No, I mean, I mean public relations. Yes, yes. All my relations are in public. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Sauterne Shirt. I want an advance agent. To the ladies, I always make advances. <gasps> but no, to you, not. Mr. Amblepie, I can be a great asset. Well, drop that. Are you prepared to be my liaison officer? Liaison? I love all the ladies. You know, you've got dames on the dome, you have. You'll get yourself locked up if you aren't careful. Mr. Enki Pank, yes. I have brought you a beautiful girl. She's a pitch. Pitch? <laughs> well, tell very much. I'll see you later. You are now a member of my staff. Viva, viva, Sissi, Sissi. Viva Big Oliver at the BB, Sissi. <laughs> Arrivederci! All of a whiskey! <laughs> and that's how garlic was born. <laughs> now, uh, what's next? Hey, boss. Yes? You promised to be at your new song factory at 8.45. So I did. What does the clock say? I'll ask it, boss. What time is the clock? <laughs> it's a cook short. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's fine. <laughs> now, we'll go to Tom Panelli right away. Tom Panelli, the land of song. Tom Panelli, where hits are misses and misses are crooners. 
Take over number. We'll publish it in Tom Fernelli. I got a song for you, dear. When the moon is sinking low, I bring a ballad, a stirring a refrain, and I bring you both the rio do, ya da da da, yowza. Well, well, Sam, what a lovely chip shop, isn't it? Nice, eh? Oh, well, it's lovely. Nice place, Sam, this, you know. Oh, oh, Mr. Hanley. Uh, is an Irish song you're wanting? Oh, oh, oh. No, it isn't at all, at all. Oh, glory be, I have a song here that'll suit your highness down to the ground. Oh, 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 oh. oh what's it called? Sailing on the Jimmy O.D.? <laughs> it's a darling song, a darling song. Oh, is your name Cochrane? Get out of here. Oh, me. what'll I do? What'll I do? Oh, 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 oh. Put that egg in the basket, Sam. Why did everyone try to sell me a song? Doesn't anyone want to buy one? Yes, uh, he wants a hexer from Hopra. Oh. Have you got anything from the Bohemian girl? Well, I got a black eye from her last night. <laughs> Here's a lovely one from In a Persian Kitchen by Whistling Kettleby. Try it. Oh, well, well. That's, uh... That's right down your throat. Lovely. Bush. Yes? Bush. My brother Butch has just written a song. It's a humdinger. It's a tear-up. Ain't it, Butch? Oh, could be. Well, let's hear it. Well, uh, I'll play it and Butch will sing it. He sings just like Hutch. Now, don't start that again. What pitch, Butch? Let Butch... <laughs> let Butch get the pitch, boss. Well, there's a batch of pitches. Let Butch pick the best pitch. Uh, let him have it, Butch. Right. Oh, Palmer, Oskars, Ohio, Schenectady, Banger, Wagner, a change at crew, the Cleethorns, Scundard, have you washed your neck today? How come? Uh, how come? Cock the dope to loop. Huh? <laughs> what do you... What do you think, boss? Ain't it a while? Well, it's certainly got the Butch touch. But it's not quite Butch's pitch. I'll tell you what, get it printed, Sam, and add a blank page of fish and chips. What did I tell you? What did I tell you, Butch? The boss is one in a million. Could be. I wonder if Butch has got a brother called Titch. I've had a touch, Titch, for a tanner. Now, sir, what can I do for you? My little boy said you were song. That's right, Daddy. This must be lo and behold. <laughs> oh, yes. I published it, didn't I? Yes, and you charged him ten pounds. That's right, Daddy. Well, I, uh... And he never made a sausage. Didn't he make a sausage? No. Well, has he tried? I mean, have you got a mincer? No. Well, oh, don't waste my time if you haven't tried. Knock his blooming block off, Daddy. <laughs> All right, I will. My dear sir, I took the liberty of rewriting your song's lyric with the help of Noel Coward, A.P. Herbert, and Oliphant Chocobotty. <laughs> I'll sing it for you. <laughs> Let tire and shout, but when peace breaks out, we shall be free. We shall be free. Let cowards cringe, but when we go on the binge, beer shall be free. Beer shall be free. Threats do not frighten us, freedom we crave. Give us a trusty blade, and let's have a shave, for Drake is still going west. Still farther west to cut the braggart scats off at the main. And if he keeps on keeping west and keeps on going west, then he'll meet himself coming back again. Let tire and shout and peace breaks out. We shall be free. We shall be free. Let cowards cringe, but when we go on the binge, we shall be free. We shall be free. Threats do not frighten us. Freedom we crave. Give us a trusty blade and let's have a shape. Cause Raleigh's setting forth again. Setting out to sea. When he returns, he'll have a tale to tell. And good Queen Beth will welcome him with this historic word. For blimey Raleigh, ain't you looking well? Thank you, boys. 
Bush. Yes, Bush. What about the man who was going to give you that big government grant? Oh, good heavens, yes. He was coming at five minutes to nine. We'll hurry back to headquarters, John. Marvelous invention, these two-seater catapults. Get you there in no time. <laughs> Well, here we are. Why, it's so dark, I can't see it. Excuse, please, mister. Shine the torch, Sam, will you? Well, if it isn't Chamber of Horrors, Percival. <laughs> oh, no. No, mister. Ali hoop. Oh. You buy night, pizza for fun fair. It's Tom Bookram. <laughs> no, I'm not running a fun fair. I'm a big shot now. Big shot? Yes. I tell you, Bren gun. Very Brenny. Four a penny. No, you haven't got any, uh, have you? Oh, yes, mister. Oh, yes. In my caravan, I get you half dozen. Oh, that's good. I badly want some razor blades. Yes. Now, uh... All right, mister. Thank you. I go. I come back. Good evening. Ah. Walter Whitwhite at your service, sir. Have you heard my latest impersonation? Well, I've no time now, Walter. I'm expecting Mr. Hogg, the man with the government grunt. A grunt, rather grunt. <laughs> oh, it won't take a moment, sir. Now, my first, a cow jumping over a moon. Well, ask her to leave an extra pint for me on the way, will you? <laughs> well, now, that's very decent of her. She left me two pints. <laughs> well, I must prepare my schedule, Fred Yule, so off we go. Woods have audience with the master. What did you say? With the master. Well, Thank you. I say, can I see Mr. Handler? By appointment, madam. Oh, don't be tiresome. I'll go in. Oh, I say, Mr. Handler. Yes? I want to do you. Well, uh, Mrs. Mop usually does me. Thank you. I mean, I want to do your bust. Eh, uh, well... <laughs> well, I'm afraid I'm not wearing it at present, you see. <laughs> Are you from Whitehall? No, Royal Academy. Oh. Uh, can you give me a sitting? Well, I'm afraid my hands haven't been laying too well. I mean, have you ever been modelled in wood? No, but I've been petrified in the forest. <laughs> <laughs> this is an honour. Now, I would like to be carved in marble, doing the V sign with one hand, and then you can use me as a hat stand. <laughs> well, uh, goodbye. Uh, DLT, yes. What does that mean? Don't let the chisel slip. <laughs> Charming little girl, over oh, there. Hello? I speak quite better for you, Miss Bart. Golly. I speak quite better for you, Miss Bart. Golly. I speak quite better for you, Miss Bart. Golly. That was Mr. Wog. <laughs> now, where? Uh... Let me see. Ah! Ah, oh, there's a gentleman to see you, sir. Uh, and lo and behold, here he comes. This will be the bloke in the boodle. What, show him in? Yes, this way, sir. That's him. That's the bloke I'm after. Here, stop me. Stop. Lo, lo and behold, this is where I came in. Lo and behold, this is where I go out. See you next week, folks. You've been listening to Tommy Handy again in the return of Itma with Horace Percival, Fred Jewell, Dorothy Summers, Sidney Keith, Gino Galvani, Bill Stevens, Brian Herbert, Gene Capra, and the BBC Variety Orchestra conducted by Charles Shadwick. Script and lyrics by Ted Kavner, produced by Francis Worsley.